Hello, we will add a working contact form uh, in this lesson. Foundation has form elements ready, but uh, we will also use another new feature of it. It's a byte. We will use it. And um, I am at foundation docs. Click JavaScript title, then a byte. It's the form validation library. Some fields are required to be filled before submitting form. Um, Abide is simply doing this. A form sample is here. And here are events when form is valid and fields are validated this event will post it to our email let's open our contact page i will add our contact form to the left contact info will be centered open sublime text to and open our working folder then i am making this change now I will divide large 6 as 2 large 3 columns. And the title of course. contact for let's turn back to foundation docs in this form sample we see that our form begins with form tag There are input elements and error message with error class. I will copy and paste all of them and change them. Paste below the H4 element. I will shorten your messages first. And let's check the input types. I need one name field, one for email address. Uh, field and a message text area. Uh, let's check foundation form uh, form elements for a mind refresh. As seen on examples, we need to use input type text for name and email and text area for message. Uh, but how can understand user wrote uh, a valid email while using contact form? Let's turn to a, a byte uh, and see a future of it. There are lots of predefined patterns like password, URL, date, and color. We will use email predefined pattern. Turning back to coding. Input type text and not removing required. Uh, input type email and required. Adding a new field for text area. Add text area element. And required.
changing error message. Let's save and have a look. Leave validation is working and warning user for required fields with error messages. Right now, nothing happens when I click the submit button. As we mentioned lately, we will use events with JavaScript for submitting to get work. But before that, we must be sure to use foundation.abyte.js file uh, to get plugin to work properly. Here at the bottom, it's commented. We have minimized version of all foundation JavaScript, but we will use foundation.abyte.js file itself. I am uncommenting this file link. Now it will work. Now I can copy events code to my page. I will open another script element at the bottom. Here is the ID of our form, my form. This example will simply write invalid fields on form to console and on valid will give a valid message. We haven't given my form ID to our form. Let's do this. Let's save and have a look. This time I will use Google Chrome to see console messages. After opening my page on Chrome, press F12 and click to console. These blocked messages are for the map and they are not uh, important. But there is an important message on top for uh, our contact form. Unexpected token at line 220. Let's look at it. We can correct this uh, by adding my form to the beginning. Looking at again. Refreshed my page. That unexpected token error is corrected. Let's see what happens when we click submit button with an invalid form. Invalid feeds are appearing as our code suggests. But what happens when form is valid and we click submit? Filling fields as required and clicking submit button. Valid message appeared in console as our code suggested. But then our page reloads. Uh, that is not uh, what we want. We will create a form that gives a thanks message to user when form is successfully sent. Uh, we only need validation functions so I am removing codes for invalid. Removing the code for console message. When form is valid, our form is ready to be sent and I am passing in codes. You can find these codes from lecture files. So what does this code do? It creates three variables from two inputs and one text array. They are being stored to be sent. We must target our input fields with IDs.
I give ID name to name input. ID email uh, to email input and ID message to uh, text area. So I targeted inputs correctly. Then our code will create a string for taking these uh, three information. And here is our Ajax code that will be fired without leaving page. Our PHP file mail.php located in PHP folder will be executed. I placed PHP folder and mail.php file in our working folder. You can download from lecture files and put to the place. Then when there are not any errors, uh, this element named with class contact form will be replaced with a new div with id thanks. This thanks div will have an h2 element titled thanks and a message will appear as saying we will contact to the user very soon. Uh, name variable is being used here in message itself. Our contact form div will be hidden after this line and a message will appear with a fade effect in one and a half second. So what will happen in our PHP file? Let's look at it. Our JavaScript had sent three informations that user had filled. They are created as a variable here in our PHP file. And they are prepared as a message variable here. This is the variable that our email will be sent. Change it to your own email. Email subject is created also. And here is the PHP function does it all. Means all the info to our email. Let's return to our contact.html file. We must have a div with class named contact form. I edit below the form tag. And ending tag is before the ending tag of form. And now we will see what happens when this form works. But I need to upload my files to a web server because PHP needs to be run on a server. I uploaded them to my own server, filling the form correctly. Clicking the submit button. This had happened previ previously, page refreshed. This shouldn't be happened, uh, but we can handle this. Let's make a custom search with keywords in Google. A byte, submit, refresh. There is an issue submitted on official GitHub page of foundation. There is a solution submitted by a foundation user. But here there is a professional solution added by Devin Castro. Let's look at it. Click to see what he change, changed from the code. 
Red lines are removed from the code. Green lines are added, but where? Uh, these changes will be on foundation.abyte.js file. Let's do this. going to the line 70 removed and edit be sure to delete pluses now I will upload my updated JS file to server I am filling the form and submitting message has appeared but uh, will php send it to me and yes here it comes that's all uh, we made ourselves uh, a core change in js file refresh off the page when clicking on submit uh, may be de developed in the future by foundation developers so the code we added may not be needed in the future be sure to check if code works correctly before changing a foundation.abyte.js file uh, if you use another version greater than 4.3.1 of uh, foundation 4